Haley and Alyssa are occupational therapy students at the University of South Alabama that will be administering the Quick Neurological Screening Test, also known as the QNST, in order to assess if their patient has experienced any neural trauma as a result from his recent stroke. The client is a 34-year-old male who is six months post a right CVA. The QNST consists of 15 tasks. In this video, we observed the first six tasks hand skill, figure recognition and production, palm form recognition, eye tracking, sound patterns, and finger to nose. Hi John, my name is Haley. Today we'll be doing the quick neurological screen test just to see how you're performing after your stroke. We'll be looking at things such as how you move and balance. Does that sound okay? That sounds fine. Okay, great. Please write your name here at the top of this paper. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Now I'm going to ask you to write a sentence. Try this. He is a big old dog. What would you like me to write? Right there is fine. The client used a tight grip on the pen and used print writing instead of cursive. So he received a 2 for the raw score on task 1. He also exhibited poor letter formation and strain during the task. Can you tell me what this figure is? A circle. And what is this figure? A square. And this figure? A rectangle. And this figure? A triangle. And this figure? A diamond. Thank you. Now draw them for me. Okay. <laughs> Inside or over here, or does it matter? It doesn't matter. The client successfully named all five figures. However, when drawing the figures, the client drew them with a bias to the right, demonstrated poor closure, and demonstrated poor angle execution. Therefore, the client received a five on task two. Now I'm going to write some numbers on the palm of your hand. May I see your right hand, please? Yes. This will be the top of your hand, and this will be the bottom. Okay. Close your eyes and see if you can tell me what number I'm writing. Three. Nine. Five. Seven. Thank you. Now may I see your left hand? Two. Eight. Four. Uh, six. Thank you so much. 
the client successfully recognized all three figures on the right hand and all three on the left hand. So the client had no errors and received a raw score of zero for task three, palm form recognition. However, the client did demonstrate a slight hesitancy when recognizing the figures on his left hand, but this difference was not significant enough to warrant a left-right difference. Hi John, thank you so much for working with Haley. My name is Alyssa and I'm going to be working with you now just to finish up the test today. Is that okay? It's alright. Alright, so I want you to follow this with your eyes, okay? Okay. Try to move your eyes and not your head. Okay. For task four, eye tracking, I circled the one next to moves head while eye tracking and three next to exhibits horizontal jerkiness, giving him a raw score of four. I noticed the client moved his head slightly and I had to cue him to just use his eyes. During the horizontal tracking, his eyes were jerking, so that is why I scored him a four. Now I'm going to make some sound patterns by tapping my hands on the table. I want you to watch me and listen. I will always use both hands and I will always tap on the table. Sometimes I will stop and start again like this. When I'm finished, I want you to make the same pattern I made. Do you understand? Sure. Try once with your eyes open. Now close your eyes and listen to the pattern I make. When I'm finished, I'll say, okay, now you do it. Listen. Okay, now you do it. 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 Okay, now I'm going to ask you to say some patterns out loud. Listen to each pattern and wait until I'm through. Then, when I point to you, say exactly the pattern that I said. Let's try one for practice. Say, dot, 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 dot. 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 Okay. Wait, listen. Dot, 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 dot. Now you do it. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot. Dot 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 for task five, sounds patterns, I circled the three next to Mrs. Oral Reproduction, two or more patterns, and the three next to Mrs. Motor Reproduction, two or more patterns, giving him a raw score of six. 
He missed two motor reproduction of the last two sequences and also missed the last two sequences during oral reproduction. I had to cue the patient to wait and listen during the oral sequence instructions. Okay, now I want you to hold up this finger. Okay. Touch the tip of your nose like this. Now reach out and touch the palm of my hand. Keep going back and forth. Find your ways with your eyes open if you like. Now close both eyes and keep going until I tell you to stop. Okay, now do it with your other hand. Now close your eyes. Okay, thank you. Now Haley and I will get together and we will score um, what we've done today to see how you are responding and just how you're able to do your activities. Do you have any questions about the tests we did today and the activities we did? No. Okay, well thank you for working with us and we will see you in therapy soon. Okay. During task six, finger to nose, I held up my right hand and the client held up his left hand, exhibiting poor left-right discrimination. That is why I circled the Y in the score chart. He did the rest of this task just fine, so his raw score is a zero for this task. The following nine tasks were scored accordingly. Transfer the raw score from each task onto the first page of the record form for the QNST3 score summary. Add up the raw scores for all 15 tasks to determine the total score which goes in the column on the far right. Utilize table B1 to interpret the raw scores and to determine a functional category. The functional category will either indicate no discrepancy with an N, moderate discrepancy with an M, and severe discrepancy with an S. These will be determined on the correct portion of table B1 corresponding to the client's age and their raw score for each individual task. Place a check mark corresponding to the level of the functional category, determining either no discrepancy, moderate discrepancy, or severe discrepancy under each task. To find the functional category for the total score, utilize table B2, also utilizing the client's age to determine the overall functional category. Our client scored a total of 26, which indicates a severe discrepancy. This severe discrepancy indicates that he is below the 5th percentile for individuals his age in neurological functioning. Again, the reason we administered this test was to assess for neurological soft signs present 6 months post-CVA. After administering and scoring this assessment, we recommend that the patient be referred to OT for evaluation due to evidence of neurological soft signs post-stroke.